All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for some real people out there just like you and just like me. So I was asked about the stadium tour. What do I think of Motley Crue thus far? <laughs> um, you know, I've watched a, a few videos and uh, I got to tell you, um, at times Vince Neil is okay. He's okay. He's not great. He's not embarrassing. And then there are a few places here and there where he gets to that point where you're like, oh, no, um, certain songs, certain notes with, that are just difficult to sing. Um, overall, though, if you're rating this, say, from one to ten, if you're ranking it, uh, I would give Vince overall a six on vocals, maybe six and a half. But there are moments where he dips down far below that. There are very few moments where he goes above that as far as his physical shape. Uh, he looks better than he did a year or two ago. So give him credit for that. Uh, he's not Phil Collin, though. OK, he does not have the six pack uh, talking about the abs, not uh, the Paps Blue Ribbon. Right. So he probably does have a six pack uh, in the dressing room ready to go after the show. Uh, you know, this is a guy who is 61 years old, which, by the way, isn't that old by um, standards. You know, if you're looking at other bands uh, that have been around as long as Motley Crue, a lot of their members are closer to 70 than 60. So Vince is actually kind of young. And uh, of course, the crew started when they were really young. And that has something to do with why Vince is 61 and not 71. You know, he was born, I think, in 1961, I want to say. Um, and so that, again, isn't really that old by geezer rock band standards. Uh, the band, I think they sound good. Um, the production, the show itself uh, appears to be bigger than life. Um, the casual fans are eating it up. I've watched a whole bunch of footage where I'm cringing a little bit, but they're not cringing. They are guzzling as much uh, $14 beer. I think those prices might have gone up thanks to transportation costs and inflation. But in any event, uh, they don't care. You know, if you're spending three, four, five hundred dollars to get tickets for this, um, you're probably not all that concerned about uh, what a beer costs or what a hot dog or a pretzel costs. Um, it is kind of interesting to see these guys uh, hitting the stadium tour, and these are real outdoor venues. Uh, Def Leppard got uh, hit with a rainstorm during the show in Atlanta. So these are some of the new obstacles that are going to get in the way. The show is not going to be canceled, you know, because of, of rain. At least I don't think it will be. They might delay it or wait to see if the rain will stop. But in most cases, these guys are going to have to power through. Um, will Vince Neil survive this tour? That, I think, is a legitimate question. And I think if any position position player <clears throat> needed a backup, uh, it is Vince Neil. Um, John Karabi apparently doesn't want to have anything to do with Motley Crue. I was thinking of him. Uh, maybe there's somebody else who sounds like Vince Neil out there who might be waiting in the wings. But uh, with you know fewer and fewer members now, you've got Tommy Lee who's got these broken ribs. Um, how? Motley Crue is this, you know, if you start losing people. Um, Vince Neil, I think, you know, with the type of wear and tear that he's going to endure, and he hasn't done anything like this in a very long time, I think you have to look at it that way. You know, you've been talking about this now for two years. This tour should have went off two years ago, and we all know what happened. And then, of course, last year was postponed uh, again. And of course, I'm hearing from the usual suspects out there who are saying, good thing we canceled it last year. Yeah, good thing. You had uh, everybody going to CVS and Walgreens last year, right? So why did you cancel it last year if that was such a good strategy? And yet everybody this year uh, is attending these shows, and it doesn't seem as though 
there are any restrictions, at least for now, until they scare everybody again, which is probably inevitable. But as far as the tour goes, you know, it's one of those bucket list things for people who didn't get to see these bands back in their heyday. And I think Def Leppard is definitely worth going. You know, they're, they make it worth going to this show. Um, and Motley Crue, being that there's always some drama and intrigue, will Vince fall off the stage? Will he be able to keep singing? Uh, will his voice just cut out? And will he have to just, you know, walk off stage and have the band finish the songs without him? We don't know. It's early into this. Uh, if I were wagering, I would say that Vince Neil is going to have a problem at some point. I'm not sure when. Uh, I'm not sure if they're using any tracks. Doesn't sound like they're using tracks, at least vocally. Um, but that, again, might be another option if they're really worried about Vince or if he has uh, an issue, something you know really large and uh, devastating happens, then they should have a backup plan. I mean, there's a lot of money at stake. So if I'm uh, one of the Motley Crue shareholders, meaning one of the members of the band or somebody who benefits from the income that they are making on this tour, I would want some safeguards in place. And that goes for everybody on this tour. Poison, Joan Jett, everybody. Um, there should be some safeguards in place so people know at least they're going to get a show if they go and see a show. It might not be the exact show they want. It may not be the people who are uh, advertised, might be some other people that are actually on stage. But the way I look at it is if you're going to pay all this money, at least put a show on so I can go and enjoy myself and drink a lot of $14 beer and uh, pretend that it's 1987 again, which a lot of people are doing that. And that's the thing I think you've got to get away from is trying to make those comparisons to the bands uh, in their prime because it's just, it's impossible. I know you've got Iron Maiden out there and Judas Priest, and there are a few other examples of bands that seem to defy a lot of the uh, problems with aging and they're able to, you know, throw some curveballs and some off speed stuff to fool the audience here and there, um, you know, not using fastball after fastball like in the old days. But you know what? It is what it is, as I often say. And um, if you like Motley Crue and you want to go see Motley Crue, I would probably say go see them. Go see them. This might be the last time you get to see them. And, you know, even if this tour goes off without a hitch and it's a big success, why would you want to haul yourself all over the world again and keep, you know, abusing yourself physically, right? Because that's what this, I'm sure, is doing to Vince Neil and maybe some of the other members in this band. I'm not sure, but we shall see. Maybe they'll hold up better. Maybe they're all just doing and practicing clean living now. <clears throat> and there's nothing to worry about. So anyway, folks, um, that's my take on Motley Crue and the stadium tour thus far. I'm sure uh, something's going to happen that I'm going to be talking about, and uh, it's probably great for publicity. It's going to be great for people who are at least following this tour, as it is truly one of the biggest rock and roll tours that I can remember in recent years. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Patreon for a dollar a month. I always need support over here. We lose some, we gain some. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, that would be uh, me, myself, and I. Uh, please consider a dollar a month to Patreon. It would uh, be very helpful. And of course, we can have a uh, conversation about whatever issue you would like to bring up over on Patreon. Until next time.